Hey everybody and welcome. Certainly glad you could join me today. In this video, we're going to look at how to fix the black lines that you'll often see on your character's foreheads. Before I get started, thank you all so much for subscribing and hitting the notification icon. It really helps me out to know how many people want to see my content. Also, a big thank you to all of my patrons. Your support is amazing and it means just so much to me. So let's get right into this then. So this problem is caused by the hair cap of your hairstyle clipping in the forehead of your character. And this is not a new problem, but it does seem to be considerably worse in Death Studio 4.12. Now we can mess around trying to fix this by selecting our hairstyle. And more often than not, you'll see that your hairstyles have got lots of morphs that you could adjust to try and shrink the skull cap down to make sure that it's not clipping. Um, but this is not always ideal because quite often it will mess up other parts of the hairstyle such as it will make the hair look too thin, it will make the, the center parting look too wide or whatever. So this is a technique that I've developed. It's a genius technique I think you'll find and um, you know it's completely foolproof. It cannot fail and that is to close down Dash Studio and open up Adobe Photoshop. Now, in order to use this technique, you don't necessarily have to have Photoshop. You could use GIMP or one of the other free image editing softwares out there. But I have Photoshop, so I'm going to use it. So what I've done here is I've drawn some squiggly lines on this character's forehead in order to simulate the effect. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to select on the healing brush tool, the spot healing brush which is the image that looks like a little plaster there. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to use my square brackets to increase the size of my brush. And I'm going to go over it little bit by little bit and remove it like so. And then I'm going to do that one. Get rid of that last little bit there. And then I'm going to sweep around and get that bit. And then this last little bit like that and then just tidy up in case I've missed any bits and pieces and there it is it's fixed there's no shame in editing your renders in Photoshop or another image editor in fact I would go as far as to say that it's absolutely 100% necessary it's extremely unlikely even with the best hardware in the world and the best planning and setting up of your scene in the world, it's extremely unlikely that you're going to be able to put your images straight from Dash Studio straight out to the public because it's always going to be something that needs to be adjusted or fixed. So for those Puritans out there who insist that you shouldn't be editing your images in Photoshop, just ignore them. They don't know what they're talking about. Get into Photoshop, get GIMP, whatever you need to use and remove it in that. It's far quicker doing it this way than it is to faff around in Dash Studio trying to fix something like that. It's much easier just to render it out and then spend the 10 seconds that it took me to do that there to fix it. Hope you found that useful. Let me know what you think in the comments below and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.